We are so excited that celery is finally getting the recognition Yay, that it celery. deserves. <laughs> For so many years, celery was looked at as this negative calorie vegetable that when you chewed it, you burned more calories than it was worth. <laughs> but we're here to tell you today that celery is worth a lot. <laughs> and we like a lot of these food trends and the way that they're bringing awareness to the healing powers of food and how to use food as medicine. Mm -hmm. But it's not just celery, which is in the spotlight today, but any food that comes from nature is a superfood. There are healing properties to it, so we need to have them all. <laughs> and right now with this celery juice trend, it was started by the medical medium Anthony Williams, who stands pretty firm behind the idea that celery is the magical cure for a myriad of different conditions. And now it is true that our modern world is really depleted in minerals and vitamins and hydration. Um, something like celery juice could be really beneficial but let's take a look at the pros and cons of this new trend. Something we love about celery is just like every other vegetable, <laughs> it's alkalizing. So bringing it into your body is gonna feel cooling and anti-inflammatory, and celery in particular has such a high water content, so having a glass of celery juice first thing in the morning is gonna be very hydrating, and it's gonna feel really good, especially in today's world where so many of us are dehydrated. This over a cup of coffee is a good <laughs> way to go. <laughs> and celery is full of electrolytes. So electrolytes are minerals like sodium and magnesium and potassium and a few others. And when we look at celery with its sodium content, that actually helps increase our digestion, which starts in the stomach um, with the hydrochloric acid, which is part of sodium chloride. So that increases that digestive fire, which is what we need to break down our food so that it can be easily absorbed in our intestines and through our gut especially if you have acid reflux or indigestion, increasing your stomach acid is vital because it's weakened and that's the reason it's coming up. So we really wanna strengthen it with something like celery. The magnesium in celery helps the, um, it go through as a diuretic through the kidney element and that will help filter the kidneys out, break down any kidney stones or anything like that. Also, as we know, with that high mineral content, the kidneys love that, and the kidneys govern the bones in the body. So if you take a look at celery, what does it look like? <laughs> My bone. <laughs> Sarah's bone. <laughs> Yes, we love that. And we love all these things about celery. But when there's these big claims, the magical one cure-all cure thing, we need to take a step back and look at it. In today's modern world, we're trained to feel that we just pop a pill and a symptom will go away. And this is really nice and convenient, um, especially when we're in pain and suffering and having a symptom that really is stopping our life and we need to move on. So that's a great place for modern medicine, but really we need to make this mind shift of looking to the root cause and finding what's causing all these symptoms, right? And there's not gonna be one vegetable that's gonna cure all these diseases. <laughs> we do need to bring variety and balance and look to everything, um, not just in food, but in our whole lives, right? <laughs> so making this mind shift is really important because we go from controlling and suppressing the body, which is what medication will do, and also what diets do as well. That's a way to control the body. Instead, we need to look bigger and how we can actually properly nourish and deeply support the body so that it's strong and has the ability to heal on a really deep level. So when we think about going to the example of acid reflux, you would pop a pill to help suppress um, and control that stomach acid from coming up, but all that's doing is it's gonna proliferate your condition and it's gonna jeopardize the rest of your digestion. So instead, if we brought in a food like celery or even celery juicing to help supplement that, that's actually gonna strengthen our digestive fire so that we no longer have it and increase our absorption in our digestion. So we've just now helped to heal the root cause rather than suppress. Mm -hmm. And so that juice is nice as an elixir to help heal, to help cure your condition, your symptom, but we need to look to the whole food, what mother nature gives us. Look at all this fiber we miss when we juice. This is only from those two glasses. So let's go back to the whole food and eat the whole celery. 
So today we made this delicious celery Caesar salad and it's incredibly paired with this beautiful dressing made with lemon and garlic and Parmesan which pairs so well with the celery mm -hmm. and some chickpeas on top too that are roasted with some nice spices on top. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So go to our website simply-seasonal.com, sign up for email so you can get these right to your inbox and get this amazing recipe that we're about to go eat. <laughs> <laughs> and that sounds simple enough. Because it's simply seasonal. Bloopers, take one. So do you know that celery is the new kale? I know. I know. And you know what's going to be the new celery? What? Bok choy. I'm calling it. <laughs> it's going to be the new celery. Cabbage is the new celery. Which is the new kale. Which is the new kale. <laughs> Red cabbage is the cabbage that rolls them all and is the new celery. Which is the new kale. <laughs> Take 29. <laughs> you know that kale, once the superfood, is now on the dirty dozen. Really? Mm-hmm. It became such high demand that now they have to grow it faster, harder, cheaper, and now it's on the dirty dozen. What the? Seriously. Celery. <laughs> I'm thinking that's gonna happen to celery too. No. <laughs> Don't take the celery. <laughs> Keep it pure. <laughs>